freaking Diana running around, man, acting like it. Diana's really been turning into Monet. <clears throat> Monet left Tariq. Diana went up here and got to sliding for no reason. There was no reason to take out uh, Anya. She talking about she got to feel what I felt. Like, damn. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this. Who do you believe was worse as a child? Well, no, I won't say as a child. Like, let's just say at this age, like 18 to, 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 to 21, who do you think was worse, Monet or this new Diana that we're about to see? We know what Monet was doing. She was riding around with the kids with the biscuit on her. And she had them bricks on her too, all white bricks. Who do you think? Because <laughs> I'm trying to think. Diana was kind of, she was kind of sheltered, but she really wasn't because we know she was cooking up and, and, and sacking up shit that work at a young age. But Monet wasn't really, well, Monet was wilding out though. But do you think, well, Monet, we didn't see Monet's parents, but do you think Monet was acting like how Diana was? Where, when Monet said, I killed a man for that money, and Diana going to say, well, I didn't tell you to. <laughs> what you should be doing is thanking me for bringing him home. I killed a man for that money, Diana. <laughs> and I ain't tell you to do that. <laughs> yeah, Monet was way more ruthless than Diana's ever going to be. But Diana, hey, Diana was getting her fair share of uh, exchanges in with her mama, though. That money, Diana. And I ain't tell you to do that. Ooh. I don't fucking back with some around here. <laughs> oh, man. Did, Di did, did, did Diana deserve this? Did Diana deserve this? Is this is this choke worthy? I mean, I know you know, hey, hey, we 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 don't condone violence. But was this worthy? That money, Diana. And I ain't tell you to do that. Boy, I come real fucking back with some around here. <laughs> Oh man, Diana had. Regardless of what we think about Diana, Diana had some classic moments. The rivalry between Monet and Diana was always classic. I knew you was gonna let that nigga hit. Tariq, we raised you better than that, Diana. This was always a good. Whenever we seen them on screen together, we knew it was gonna be some fireworks. I killed a man for that money, Diana. And I ain't tell you to do that. Boy, I come real fucking back with some around here. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Diana, man. I know when when Diana was reading this, that motherfucker, you know, it, like up under her sentence, well, I ain't tell you to do it. Up under it, it says... You have to do your own stunts. <laughs> like, I would have said, hey, man, put the camera behind me and have, like, a stunt double coming. I don't know if I really want to get choked out by Monet. And Monet got them nails, too. So they're like, all right. All right, when we say action, Monet's going to choke you up. Now, some of this shit, I think Monet was just doing this shit. Like, she was improvising. She wasn't, like, this wasn't in the script. Because you remember when she jumped over the table, that wasn't in the script. They said Monet did that on her own. So Monet may have been on goddamn scene fucking wilding out. Monet may have, like this, it may not have been a choke scene. It may have been like, hey, put her arms against the wall. Monet taking this shit to another level. Like, I don't know, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. We ain't seeing Kane getting choked up. 
We ain't seeing Tariq getting choked up. Brayden, no. They doing like fake punches and shit. Why well, I got to get choked up? <laughs> Man, that money, Diana. And I ain't tell you to do that. Just whack them. I don't fucking back us around here. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man good times man that <laughs> is in 2022 man Oh, man. Let me see some. Like, what did, <laughs> what did Diana actually think was going to happen when she just pulled up here? Like, the plan was, all right, we're going to see where, where Noma is. And then she just pulled up and get the shooting. Oh, pretty girl love trap is in here. Make sure y'all go over to PGLTC. If you're chilling on a Sunday, tune in to Pretty Girl Love Trap content. The soothing sounds of Pretty Girl Love Trap content. Where you will be schooled by the teacher. The Power Universe teacher goes to Pretty Girl Loves Trap content. So on your Sunday, when you kicking it back and you didn't skip church, you turn on that YouTube and she's going to tell you exactly what's going on in the Power series. Damn. I'm trying to find... I got... Well, it's go. It's, it's too much to show. I ain't trying to like keep pausing it. But yeah, man, when she jumped on that damn table, maybe somebody got a little TikTok. <laughs> oh man, that was. Oh no, I can't find it. Forget it. Oh well. Oh yeah, you can you can clip that up, uh, pretty girl. This uh, hours at hour twenty one. You can clip that up, or I'll or I'll try to get it for you and send it to you. But yeah, you can go ahead and use that. Put it on there. A little interlude. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, Diana got that one eye open, or is that a lazy eye? So she aiming with the left eye. Okay. Do your thing, die. But look at Kane. Like, this was terrible. Diana was about to ruin everything. I don't, I don't know what Diana was thinking. Like, this is the same Diana that told Monet, my bad. It was an accident that we tried to set you up. This is the same Diana that told Tariq, my bad on your mama. I almost got her knocked by Tommy. Like, I don't feel any type of way for Diana, man. She always brought all this on herself, man. You know. Well, Kane wasn't in front because of how they got out the car. So, look. Kane had to get around, so they, they, wait a minute, they just pulled up in the driveway, yeah, so Diana's on this side, so she's the closest to the gate, Kane had to run around the vehicle, so that's why Diana hopped out quick, Diana didn't let no one know what the plan was, Diana just jumped out and got the bucket, shit, I'm pretty sure Diana, knowing her and how she's been acting these last couple of episodes, the car probably wouldn't even stop, she had the door open, she jumped out, <laughs> she jumped out and ran over there and came with like, hey, Diana, get back here. 
Damn, they just pulled up in the driveway. Where was security? Oh, I told y'all security was in there sleeping. I told you security was down here sleeping. Security supposed we supposed to have security at the gate. Damn. She got Anya in the what is this? In the lower vertebrae? Then this one right here, was that the right side? What's your heart on your left side? So this one right probably went through the lung. This one probably just went straight through, man. Tore up a good Burberry sweater, too. Good Burberry, too. At least there ain't no blood on the Gucci's. At least there ain't no blood on the Gucci's. She been wearing the hell out of these Gucci's, though. That's the only thing about when you wear these loafers. These loafers, they, hey, they slick as hell. Yeah, you ain't got no grip in these loafers. You got when you walking up and down stairs when you got the loafers on, you got to hold on to the rail because whoa, whoa, whoa. That's that's probably what happened to her. If she would have had on some regular shoes, she probably would have been able to get up out of there. Yeah, it probably is a driveway next door. But Diana just come, I don't know, man. And then Noma, she knows Kane drives this Range Rover. So at this point, wait a minute. Noma knows Kane drives the Range Rover. Noma knows that Monet was just unalive and Kane told her F you. When what up, Ray? When, when Noma came outside, she should have known something was up. That's Kane to hide his Range Rover. What is Kane doing here? We beefing with Kane. Even if it is Tariq, what is Kane's like? Wait a minute. What you doing with Kane? So get out of here. It's an ambush. It's a setup. But instead, Diana ruined everything because we were good to go right here. We was copacetic. We were incognito. But then Diana come over here and get the bucket. Like, come on, Diana. They <laughs> said it's no one's fault that Anya died. I mean, you would think if you were Noma. First of all, I know these are Diana's mistakes, but we got to look at what made this so easy for Diana to make this mistake. Because if security would have been out here, I don't think Diana would have did this. But we're on the run. We're at we're at war at this point. Who's coming out like this? She going to a Diddy party? Why she got this all white on? We on the run. Chindu talking about we need to go right now. They didn't got Anya, man. The hell with Anya. Listen, you can always have another kid, but you can't have another you. You need to get on the road and go. We are on the run trying to get up out of here because a war is starting. A war is kicking off, and she's in this all white, and security ain't even paying attention. So this is what made it so easy for Diana. Security's door is open, but them niggas is chilling because it ain't no AC down there. So they got to have some kind of ventilation to get a nice little cool breeze coming through. Anya's over here walking around. That's why you don't mismatch designer with the Burberry top with the Gucci shoes. I ain't no fashion critic or anything, but I'm just saying, I don't think you do that. So she walking up the stairs, not utilizing the handrail and making sure that she touches every stair and then bow. That right here, this is how my hip be feeling. When I tell you I got a bad hip, this is what my hip be feeling. Like when I get the flare-ups because I got goddamn arthritis in my right hip, this is how I be feeling. Look at how her body's like, oh, shit, that's how I be feeling. And then boom, you know what I'm saying? And then pow, Diana wasn't playing around. But the plan was to try to get Noma, but instead Diana like, man, I got to make her feel my pain. She took my mama. Damn. 
Ja'Cory, I don't know, man. But hell, the whole family, the whole family. You remember Monet? Monet is a marksman now. Monet is a marksman. Remember when Monet saved Diana and Drew from about 50 yards with a silencer? Knocked them two guards down. Then Monet not only knocked those two guards down last week, she went inside and took out another 10. This shit runs in the bloodline, man. Look, you remember uh, you remember Monet last week? Monet with the nails on, too. Look, look what Monet was taking out last week. You think Diana can't catch somebody that's unarmed? If this is what Monet's doing, believe me, Diana could put that work in, too, now. Oh, yeah, Lorenzo did shoot Zeke from across the damn room. <laughs> Not only that, this is what Monet showed up in. This is what Monet was hitting from a distance in. Look how far back they are. Look. <laughs> and then Monet show up. Damn, Diana. All right, all right. With all those mistakes being made, let's be honest, though. Out of all the Tejadas, there were mistakes made. But Diana, her end story is a little bit better than everybody else's. Now, I know they setting this up. Okay, she could potentially become Monet Jr. But out of all three of the kids, I'd rather take Diana's route then Drew going to Paris. Well, don't get me wrong. I love it over here in Europe, though. Europe is amazing. It's just been, it's raining. You know what I'm saying? When it gets to the fall time, it's about the rain nonstop. It's either rain or snowing. It ain't no in between. So Drew going over there, but he ain't got no money. But Diana got the house, the penthouse, the bar. At this point, at this point, she could go. She could go to Davis and get the hangar, the planes, the vehicles, because remember they said they were going to look into everything that Monet had. Well, Monet gone. Diana could be like, hey, I ain't know nothing about that, but I do have the penthouse. I do got the house. I want the hangar. Diana can go get all of that. And Diana has became bigger. Like, if we're being honest, if Diana gets with Davis and like, you know what? I want to get all that shit out of probate. I want to get the hangar. I want to get the vehicles. I want to get the plane. She's she's bigger than Ghost was. So we're giving Tariq all this credit for being better than Ghost, where Diana, in reality, she's potentially the biggest player we've seen. Well, outside of RSJ. RSJ is a billionaire, but we don't know what the hell happened to RSJ. And then you got the Westons. Yeah, they lost the Western Holdings, but they still going to have at least like $50, $60 million. But as far as like characters in the game, Diana has made her mark and she's bigger than anything that ghost ever did she's bigger than anything either one of her parents ever did she's bigger than Tariq. diana is actually the ghost of the show because think about it she ain't got to do nothing, nothing, nothing anymore get davis to get the hangar in the planes the jets she can really just live life she can either rent out the penthouse she can either rent out the house she'll have enough money to boom 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 rent out the vehicles Diana is actually, Diana is what Monet wanted to be. 